<clears throat> welcome back to the channel guys I appreciate you coming back if you're if you're not a subscriber please hit the subscribe button a big thank you and a hello to all the other subscribers um, today in mr. dress up uh, tickle trunk here is that what he used to say a tickle trunk anyway this tool is what we call come along what I call come along a lot of people do a lot of people do call it um, a hand winch some people call it a cable puller whatever it is you call it uh, I'm gonna call it a come along because I think just whatever you hook this to it's gonna come along I guess now we on this tool you have an anchor point you have the cable with a hook on it uh, there's a couple setups here I'll get to in a second there's a ratchet system and you have two what I call paws some people call them dogs right and either one is right because a dog has paws so I guess well, damn it. You have this spring now, and you have this lever. Now, how it works, you got your ratchet, ratchet mechanism, you got your paws. Every time you come back, the paws is going to, when you go to ratchet, it's going to dig into those gears and going to turn this wheel and wind up your cable. To get the cable out of this device, on this particular model, you're going to push the, you want to pull the spring up so it brings the tension on top of the paws which is going to keep the paws from coming into contact with the ratcheting mechanism then you're going to push on this and pull out your cable once you get this hooked up to whatever it is you need your truck you know, you're stuck in the mud or you're pulling out a stump. In my case, I was pulling garbage out of the ground that have been there since the beginning of time, I guess, because 100 years ago, they did garbage trucks collecting the garbage. So apparently they just threw it all out in a section of the, the back property and that's where everything grew over it. Anyway, sidestepping there. So you hook this up to whatever it is you're doing and you start cranking. But you have to push the spring back down. Come on now. Push that spring back down, and then you start ratcheting. And this winds up the cable, and Bob's your uncle. Now, with this one here, right, you're going to have sometimes different setups. This one here, it goes through a pulley with a hook comes back and it's anchored anchored back to itself what this gives you is a mechanical advantage of two okay but you're if you got 10 feet of cable in here because it's doubled back on itself and it's anchored here and you pull the cable in you're only going to have five feet of cable some will have this which I can do because this is all removable. I can take this, hook it directly to the hook, and I don't need the, the pulley, and I got 10 feet. But you're going to have almost the same. If a pound of pressure here, you'll get a, you can pull a pound at the end. Whereas this is a mechanical advantage of two. So, you know, just just leave out the the mechanical advantage of this lever, the leverage you got with the handle, because some comes with an extended handle. You can push the button and extend it. We won't be talking about that right now. We're just going to be talking about the basic mechanical advantage of your pulley. Uh, you can get a snatch block. This is what this is. Um, what it is is you can take out this pin here. Take out the cotter pin, push out the pin, and this hook will come out. And the two sides, this way and this side, right? Move independently so you can separate them, put it on a cable, close them up, put the pin back in. 
The same thing is what you have probably seen in zip lining, okay? Same idea. So, but the more pulleys you have and the more that you're you're redirecting the tension, the more mechanical advantage you're going to have. But the more mechanical advantage you're going to have, you're losing on distance. Meaning, if you crank one foot of cable in, your prob all depends on your situation, what your mechanical advantage is, blah, blah. But you could only, you could end up with only movement two inches. So you could crank in, you know, five feet of cable and your truck is going to move a foot. No big deal if you got enough cable and whatnot. But uh, you do lose distance. But you're gaining in the horsepower. I'll just say horsepower of the machine. Um, the safety of it, please don't ever uh, step outside the capabilities of your cable. Uh, so that's about it. Um, if if you are uh, had a cottage and stuff like that and you don't have all the you know all the fancy equipment you don't have the tractors and so on and you want to you know pull out some small stumps or whatnot you know deep it, it's great uh, as long as you got something to hanker to and that what you're hankered to is stronger than what your payload is you're fine you can lift things uh but uh yeah i have found so many uses for this thing um so yeah guys if uh you should have, if you're, you go off-roading at all, you should have one of these. Even if you got a winch on your truck, you should have one of these. Um, if something happens to your winch or anything, you know, the battery is dead, blah, blah, blah. This air is just manpower. It's very little, very little to, can go wrong with it, right? It, it's, it's so simple. Anyway, thanks for uh, subscribing. Thanks for watching the video, and um, see you next time.